you are new here, welcome. Also, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the family. Y'all, on today, I am going to be making myself, I'm going to be making us, you and I, some peanut butter cookies. Well, I'm going to try, y'all. I made some before and they didn't come out right. So I saw another recipe and I'm going to try that recipe. I just Googled it so that I could try it. So what you will need, one stick, you'll need a half a cup of white sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of peanut butter, one egg, one large egg, and I don't have any large eggs, I have medium, so I'm going to use two eggs. You need one fourth cup of all-purpose flour, three four teaspoons of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and one fourth cup of one fourth teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna mix this um, butter because they said blend it until it is soft. I mean until it is creamy. <laughs> Ball, I already have my um, all-purpose flour, my baking soda, my baking powder, my salt in this bowl mix. I blended it all together. Well, not blended it. I, uh, what you call it? Y'all know what I'm talking about. I, um, y'all know what I'm talking about. I whisk it. I whisk, whisk. It's a half a cup of sugar. Half a cup. I'm going to have to try to get this out of this bowl. I'm going to try to pour half of it out because I didn't blend it yet. Half a cup, y'all. Not a whole cup. That's why I was like, that's going to be some sweet sugar, some sweet cookies. This thing's going to be sweet. I'm like, that's a whole lot of sugar. A whole lot, a whole lot. So I just poured half of it out. I'm glad I didn't mix it yet. I'm going to put it back in my sugar dish. My sugar bowl. So you got to Pack this brown sugar in there. Pack it, pack it, pack it in. To your one cup. So I'm gonna blend this to back and we are now going to add our one egg. It's one large egg, but I don't have large eggs. I have medium, so I'm gonna use two. Two medium eggs. And a cup of, I mean a half a cup of peanut butter. I'm gonna add it to this. Two eggs. I've got to tell y'all, then we're gonna blend these eggs, butter, and sugar together. Okay, you guys, you need a half a cup of, and because I want my peanut butter to come out of this thing, I'm gonna spray it with some uh, cooking spray. Some Baker's Joy. Baker's Joy, so it'll come out clean. I mean, it won't stick in there. So I'll just spray a little bit, just a little bit. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. First you take the peanuts and you smash them. You smash them for the peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. So you need a half a cup of peanut butter. See how it just plops out of there? Just popped out, y'all. We're gonna mix this together. Oh, it smells good. We got it all mixed up. That's how it's gonna look. Y'all, I have actual, um, I have some um, pecans that I'm gonna put in mine. Cause I don't like peanuts. It don't cause the peanuts to go in it. But I'm gonna put nuts in mine cause I like nuts. A lot. Then we are going to add our flour until it gets too thick and then I'll fold it. So y'all, I got it mixed as much as I'm going to mix it with the, the blender, the mixer, whatever this thing is called. Y'all know what it's called. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Tasty. Then I'm going to just fold it. Fold it. Y'all, you have to chill this for um, three hours. So y'all are going to get my cookies for three hours, okay? They smell good. Hopefully they taste as good as they smell. But I'm gonna put like a half, I'll show y'all my third of cup of pecans. Chopped pecans. They chopped. I probably should put some more. So let's say I put a half a cup. Let's 
I'm gonna mix those. Well, I hope they taste good with the pecans in it. I look like butter pecan ice cream. I'm gonna cover this with um, plastic wrap. And put it in the refrigerator for three hours. After three hours, it's been three hours. In the oven. I think I'm gonna only make 12 for right now, and I have an ice cream scooper. I think this is like, uh, I don't know what size it is. I know I just use this for my cookies all the time. I wash my hands already, they're clean. So I'm gonna take, let me bring y'all down. I'm gonna take the dough, which is right there. I take the dough, about that much. I think I'm gonna only make 12 for right now. I know y'all don't wanna see me rolling the cookies up. Y'all probably like, lady, we don't wanna see all that. I know y'all don't. So I will come back once I get to the next step y'all. Okay guys, I'm back and I got my cookies on the sheet. I have 12 of them. They're all I'm going to make and I'm going to take a fork and do a crisscross um, pattern. I could have put um, cookie spray on it. So y'all get the drift, right? We're gonna do them like that. I come back for the next step, y'all. I come back after I put them in the oven. I'm back, and my cookies are done. I just took them out of the oven. They were in there for 15 minutes on 300 Fahrenheit. Break one open for y'all. They're still hot. They're nice and brown on the bottom. Nice and flaky on the top. Look at that, y'all. Y'all see that? Y'all see it? Here cookies. We're going to see how they taste. Wow. I'm going to put the recipe in my description box. These are bomb. Y'all, anything you want to cook, we will it. And those pecans, like, set it off. They are really good. I like my cookies to be soft on the inside and then crunchy around the edges. That's how we eat our. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, post this video with every and Don't forget to hit that little bell so that you can be notified of each and every time that I